Following up on the ideas of creating your plan, the perfect calisthenics plan for what you're after. Now, I've had a couple of you asking me saying, so what is the plan? What do I follow? And to be perfectly honest, I'm not very uh, well equipped to give you a plan. I mean, if I really think like if I just said, okay, uh, I don't know, work out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, push, pull, leg days, and do three sets to failure. I mean, I'm just guessing. It's just random, like just go online and Google it or find one in a magazine. Uh, because the fact of the matter is, you're the one who's in the best position to figure out the perfect exercise plan for what you're looking for, not someone who's writing a magazine or putting on a video who has no idea what you're about and what your life is about and everything. Because a workout program is meant to kind of weave and ebb and flow perfectly with your lifestyle. And anybody who doesn't know your lifestyle is just guessing. So you're in the better position. So here's how you do that. Number one, of course, first step, you gotta have a goal, an objective. You're working out for a reason, right? <laughs> now, don't go all vague on me like everyone in the world when I talk to them. I'm like, so what do you wanna get in, uh, exercise for? I'm like, I wanna be in shape. That's kinda like going into a restaurant and waiter comes over and is like, what can I get for you? And you're like, I don't know. You know, and then they bring you like a, a rare steak and you're like, dude, I'm a vegetarian. It's like, well, you got to tell me these things. Your body right now, it's poised. It's like, what do you want? What, what, just tell me, just tell me, what do you need? The cells of your body are receptive to whatever you want. They're waiting for instructions. The thing is, you got to get clear on what those instructions are for. Yeah, you can't just do a whole bunch of random stuff and expect to get to a destination you want. So get clear on what you want. Do you want strength? Do you want endurance? You're trying to burn some fat or you're trying to build some muscle or is it something more specific? Refer to my videos uh, for training calisthenics for those objectives uh, uh, otherwise. So get clear on what you want because once you know that, everything else gets a lot easier. Number two, what are your exercises? Okay, so calisthenics, this is not gonna be very hard because Pretty much everything's about the basics. We refer to convict conditioning, the big six. You got your squats, push-ups, pull-ups, leg raises or sit-ups, uh, handstand push-ups, bridges, running, jumping, hiking, climbing. I mean, it's the very, very basic stuff. But you've got to be selective. Think of your workout program kind of like you're packing a suitcase uh, for a trip. You can only fit so much in there. When you work out, you've got so much time and so much energy. So if you've got a whole bunch of exercises and filler, you're not gonna be able to put much effort into either of them. So you'd be very selective. Think blue shirt or red shirt, push-ups or explosive push-ups. If you can only do one, which is the more important? Try to keep it, usually um, a good workout, I would say three to four exercises, depending on you know, what, you're, what you're going after. What days are you gonna work out on? Again, I don't know. <laughs> People ask me all the time, should I work out Saturday? Should I work out in the morning? Should I work out in the evening? I don't know, dude. Work out whenever you like, okay? With your, with your job, with your family life, maybe you're a student. There are certain days that are just gonna be better. You figure it out. <laughs> Play with it and work out on the days that are best for you to work out on. Another question, of course, is splits versus full body. Just do what you want. I've done splits, I've done full body. Not really any difference. <laughs> Probably not. Just do, uh, try one, do, try the other, just do it just because you like it, just because it feels best for you. But that said, do make sure you get all of your major muscle groups two to three times a week. So uh, usually a push and a pull alternative uh, you want to kind of keep it in balance. If you do push-ups, do a pull-up. Uh, if you do squats, do bridges. So that way you've got everything kind of in balance. Okay, so what days? Two days a week, three days a week, four weeks a week, days a week. Whatever works best for you. You, I, just ask you, what do you want? What would you rather do? Okay, finally, get it in writing. Keep your log, because you, you do keep a log. I hope you are keeping a log. Don't make the mistake I did and think, I don't need a log, blah, blah, blah. Stupid mistake, okay? Get it down in writing, and I'm gonna show in the next video my own personal log that I use, which makes it really simple and easy to do this sort of thing. So, uh, check out the next video. Finally, go. Just execute, go, just do. 
Don't get trapped into this paralysis by analysis, like should I do push on Tuesday, and then pull on Monday, or reverse it or anything. Look, it doesn't matter. Just go, because the fact of the matter is whatever routine you set up doesn't really matter. You get all your major muscle groups two or three times a week, and it's kind of going towards your goal of what you're after. That's all you can ask for. That's as good as you're going to get, because the actual results you're looking for do not come from a routine. They come from progression, from lifting the routine to a higher level, which is what I'm going to be talking about in the next video. Questions below. Be fit. Live free.